Hello, everybody. We're at uh, Sheboygan County Christian High School where tonight the Eagles take on their uh, rivalry in the Holy War by the Shore, Sheboygan Lutheran High. Uh, Christian comes in with a 2-11 and record. Sheboygan Lutheran, ranked number one in the state in their division, comes in 15-0. and Chris, it doesn't look like it uh, would be much of a ball game tonight. No, it, it really doesn't, and uh, youth is served for uh, Sheboygan Christian, and, uh, you know, I was thinking prior to, you know, thinking about today's game and things, I was thinking about Coach Flipsy when, you know, at one time he was at the top of the mountain, and sometimes it all kind of cycles around and you know now he's he's kind of on the bottom but i uh, remember some of those teams they had the tallest team in the city oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> and uh and good ones yeah and they were you know you know everyone says well what's wrong with christian well you know they just one thing you know we, we've mentioned it a couple times is numbers at the school and they've dropped a little bit they used to get a big big flow of kids coming from oosburg well, a lot of those kids now are just staying in oosburg and you know the numbers are down here and it's difficult but doesn't mean that Coach Slipsy isn't a good coach. It's just uh, he's got a very, very young squad, and they're taking their lumps this year. And uh, going up against the number one Division Five school in the state is uh, a big, tall task. When I was doing my research, I noticed that uh, the last game Christian played, they beat your old school, Elkhart Lake, yep. uh, 60 to 31, I think it was, yep. and a very nice win for a Christian. And then when I looked on the other side of the ledger, when uh, Lutheran played uh, Elkhart, it was like 100 to 30. Yep. And uh, I'm just thinking, man, alive, you know, the offensive power by uh, Elkhart Lake is going to be hard to, uh, pardon me, by Lutheran, it's going to be hard for uh, Christian to stop tonight. Well, one thing I saw, too, is, uh, you know, as a credit to uh, Christian, uh, just a week ago or so last week, uh, Sheboygan Lutheran defeated uh, St. Mary's Catholic, and they kind of struggled. It was kind of a close game, yeah, 89, uh, 89 to 80. 80. And just about a week and a half ago, Christian just lost to that team by like eight, nine points. So, it, I mean, they still lost to St. Mary's, and you can see that. But you can see that, you know, on relative terms, I mean, it was a good game that uh, Lutheran had to play against St. Mary's. And you got to remember sometimes they're just kids. I mean, they're not going to be... 100% and perfect all the time, but they, they struggled a little bit against them. And Not that, like we are now that we're adults, right? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> we're right. perfect, get it all right all the time. That's right, and uh, I don't, uh, you know, you wonder, you know, hopefully that's a positive sign for Christian. They've been playing a little bit better. Let's talk a little bit about uh, Sheboygan Christian individually. They have a kid by the name of Joel Lemonen, Lemonens. And he's averaging uh, 12.9 a game. And then they have Trevor Wissey. He's averaging 12.5. That's pretty good balance. And then they've got a couple other kids at just under 7. Matt Alsom at 6.9 and Michael Modal at uh, 6.3. But, you know, it's a pretty good balance within that group. But what we don't know is uh, what kind of depth they have, you know, if those kids get in trouble. And... Well, let's talk a little bit about those kids that I just mentioned. Yeah, well, the first two are the seniors of the group, and uh, they're they're the leaders. And again, you got the other kids that are going to help. They're going to have to help. But again, that's where youth has served a little bit with a junior and a freshman, and you know, then they go down to another sophomore, and uh, then they got uh, Sam Hendricks, another sophomore. So, you know, they're they're getting better and things. One thing they don't do very well is they don't shoot well. I mean, if you look at their shooting percentages. Their, their percentages are way down there. So, you know, if they want to hang in there tonight, they're going to have to shoot about 60% and take care of the basketball. Turning over to uh, Nick Verhagen's uh, Sheboygan Lutheran squad. Uh, talk of the town, actually, is Jacob Ignacevic averaging 31.8 points and over 15 rebounds a game. I mean, he's just been a machine. Yeah, he's tough. And, uh, of course, there's always the questions about you know, because he's playing in a smaller league, would be he just as good in Division One? So absolutely. Did, so did Joe Wolf. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. He would be. We're gonna wait here for a prayer now, Marty. All righty. Gracious Heavenly Father, we just praise you for this opportunity for these young men. We ask that you will protect them as they play, that you will allow them to play to the best of their ability with the talents that you have given them. We pray that they may respect the officials, that we too as fans may uh, cheer honorably, and that all may be to your glory. 
In Jesus' name, amen. started here at uh, Sheboygan County Christian High School with the uh, got the introductions in a couple of the kids we didn't mention from uh, Lutheran that are uh, providing great backup for Ignacevic are Barnstable and uh, Grabowski each averaging uh, in double figures Chris well the one that really impressed me this year is uh, Delvin Barnstable kind of just there last year and really stepped up his game Greg Grabowski an outstanding athlete of course uh, is somebody you know those are the guys that have to do the other things because it's they move on into the tournament and stuff you're going to have to have two and three players to be successful christian controls the tap uh i was going to mention something here chris uh one of the guys i we mentioned this earlier that seems to be the glue that holds uh, lutheran together is uh, jonah juris he does a lot of the little things that uh are essential to yeah, he wears number 21. He's an outstanding defender. Something, too, that you don't see a lot of, get a lot of credit for. Skorowski missed one down here. Three ball loaded up and made by Michael Moto. Well, I think Coach Slipsy now would like to uh, get a rebound here and hold the ball. <laughs> there you go. 
Christian coming out in the zone, which I thought they might do. That shot attempt by uh, number 21, Jonah Juris, was off no good. See, and that's the thing is, Christian, you can't turn the ball over. Twice they've already turned the ball over. And then Verhagen turns it over on the other turns end. It, yeah, it's... Uh, you get a nice nice little breakout like that, at least get a shot off. Who was that that said the first two minutes of a North-South game is some <laughs> of the ugliest basketball, and you were getting it in the war by the shore? <laughs> oh, Aubrey Koistra. Yeah, you're right. And there's another miss. Layup missed that time by uh, Alsom. A quick double team as soon as they threw it in to uh, Ignacevic. Coming over for the double was uh, Model, and uh, he commits the foul. Lutheran 15 and 0, 10-0. Another turnover by the Crusaders. And the shot is up and in. That one was made by uh, Lemonis. It's five to nothing. Good ball movement. Three ball is put up and in by Barnstable. Yeah. The zone's the right idea. You gotta hope that they miss and you get the rebound where Agnosovic is a vacuum under there. Pointing it up for the three shot was uh, all somebody couldn't get it in. For Hagen pushing the action. And a good defense played by uh, Lemonis. Knock it away from Ignacevic. Good ball movement. Shot from the wing on the inbounds play. Jonah Juris nails a three, and all of a sudden, Lutheran is up six to five. Juris averaging just six points a game or so, and uh, but he seems to always get those clutch baskets. Gonna have to rely on him to score next year. And another turnover. Yeah, Verhagen read it nicely, and then he throws it right back to uh, Christian. And we get a whistle. Ball goes on Ignacevic. That's some of the things uh, you get with a freshman. Make a good play on the defensive end and then throw it right back on the offensive end. Well, the pace is definitely for Lutheran. I was a little surprised Christian's trying to push it as much as they are. There comes a double and a nice Ball turnover. stripped away and given up to uh, Verhagen. He couldn't get it, but Ignacevic follows it in. We get a whistle. I think they're going to wave it off. Ball looked like it was in the cylinder. have a discussion. Count it. I'm counting it. It was close and our monitor's not working so we can't show them what happened. Well, Coach Flipsy's asking who called it in the first place so ask him to make the decision. What did you see? Another steal. Verhagen gives it up to Barnstable. His shot is no good. Lemonis with the rebound. Got to be sharp on your passes. And again, like we mentioned, Michael just a freshman. Christian really having trouble with the uh, pressure by the Crusaders. And a quick whistle. Barnstable's going to pick that one up. Nope. They're going to call his foot out of bounds first. Oh. A little bit of a break for the Crusaders. Three and a half minutes, six turnovers. Oy. Look like the Badgers from the other night. Oh, boy. <laughs> and they won. I mean, unbelievable. Un Ugh. Ignacevic loads up a three but couldn't get it in. That rebound was by uh, Modal. Good skip pass. Good idea, here comes the double. Nice swing. Shot no good by Lemonis. Barnstable with the rebound. 
That shot is no good by Juris. He's one for three on the night. You are correct. From three ball land. There's our double. Nice pass. Good cut, good try. I mean, that's a, a good effort. Ignacevic uh, draws the foul. That's going to go on Alsom. That was a good effort and good plays by Christian. It's just what you want to do. Nice, quick passing. Stay out of that double team. Got a shot inside, but when you're going up against an aircraft carrier like uh, Ignacevic, he's going to force that shot a little awkward. Robbie Michael in the ball game, as is Michael Berger for the Crusaders. That's going to be an over and back. Ball went off of Modal's leg when he retrieved it in the backcourt. That uh, was an over and back. Lutheran just 3 of 10 shooting so far. Seems like it's a lot worse. <laughs> Ignacevic working inside, had a shot blocked. Good defense inside by the Eagles. Early action for Robbie Michael for uh, Lutheran. And another turnover on Lutheran. Yeah. They're not playing their best ball either. Casey Verig and dribbling it off his foot. Lots of pressure by Lutheran. Berger in the game two, number 11. Pass inside, but a foul, a whistle. It's gonna go on uh, Robbie Michael. Just two fouls on each, 12.35 left. Got a close one here so far. Juris with the rebound. Good drive penetration by Berger. You're getting some open looks from outside the three-point line, but nobody wants to put it in, or put it up, I should say. Ignacevic with a strong rebound, scores and is fouled. Foul goes on Lemonis. Ignacevic is a dynamite free throw shooter, Chris. Yep. He now has five points. 11 to six. Lutheran on top, rolling down to the 12 minute mark of the first half. And that pass is uh, air mailed right into the stands. It's a little safer up here, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie Michael's shot is no good. Lemonis with the rebound. His second. Oh boy. Berger with a good job of stepping out. Or pardon me, that was Robbie Michael with a good job of stepping out to uh, challenge the driver who was uh, Wissy, and then he lost the ball out of bounds. We had a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it here at one going over to uh, Christian. Other than turnovers, what are you seeing out there? Well, a lot of turnovers. Eight turnovers already for Christian, just two of seven shooting. Um, one thing I'm a little bit surprised is the fact that uh, Christian's doing a really nice job on the... Uh, defensive end, uh, allowing uh, Lutheran, a much more athletic, taller team, uh, just basically one shot and out. Right. I mean, Ignacevic has had a couple offensive rebounds, but uh, they basically uh, Lutheran comes down, gets one shot, and that's all they get. They haven't Those... gotten it into Ignacevic much either against nope. this zone. Which uh, would be a little bit of a concern for, uh, when you play bigger, stronger, better teams, they're going to play some zone, and 
and this is a good chance for you to work against. Uh, a good skip pass to Verhagen. His three ball is no good. Ignacevic with the rebound. Tries to funnel it up, had it blocked, got it right back. And now, Lutheran looking for the opening. I think Verhagen got away with a walk on that. Shot is off, Ignacevic with another rebound. Or is it? Yep, yep. Just as I mentioned, uh, not allowing second shots. <laughs> yeah. He cleans up a bunch of rebounds right there. You're usually pretty good at that with free throws. <laughs> Second in the uh, state in rebounding is Jacob Ignacevic. Third in shooting in the state. Oh, boy. He's averaging uh, almost 16 rebounds a game. Okay, they got it inside. Ignacevic driving and draws the foul. He'll be at the line shooting a pair. There's a trick to uh, working the ball against the zone and then being able to get it inside. Yeah. I always like back pinning your defender or when there's a zone guy wanted to pin a guy and skip it and then provide that guy into the post. Is, and I'd overstack a side. You know, Where's the telestrator when we need it? Yeah. That's I know exactly what you're saying. 12 to 5. Lutheran on top. Triple team that time. Drive to the hoop is no good by Lemonis. Berger almost lost it out of bounds. Shot is no good. Ignacevic with another rebound. Turns around and puts it in. Ever since I mentioned that they're not getting any offensive rebounds. Yeah, they must they're have getting heard them you. Graydon Grabowski missed that shot initially, but uh, Ignacevic bailed them out with the offensive board. Got a mismatch underneath the basket there, Chris. Number two, Robbie Michael trying to guard number 22, Trevor Wissey. Ooh, good spin move. And the shot up and in. What a shot by Alsom. It's been a while since they put points on the board. That shot is no good by Grabowski. And a bust out for the Cruz for the Eagles, oh, and he boy. misses a bunny. And another miss. And finally put up and in by Trevor Wissey. His first hoop of the night. Ignacevic coming right back with a five footer. He has ten points. Deep three is no good, and it's going to go off of a Crusader. I think it's going to go off of, or it went off of Grabowski. Christian will keep it. Pretty nice crowd tonight, Chris. Yeah, considering the cold weather. Lemonis' shot is partially blocked by Ignacevic. Barnstable on his Ooh. way to the hoop, flies and scores, and he's fouled. Oh, yeah, you just get excited with that nice left hand, Marty. Ooh, that was sweet. Oh, you're kidding me. What? Foul is on number 30, I think. No, 24 is Modal. That's his second. Barnstable shot is no good. Putback is no good by Grabowski. And a kick out. Oh, a nice dish off and putting it up and in was Sam Hendricks. Hendricksy. And Christian steals it again. Boy, Coach Verhagen is not going to be very happy, Chris, with all these turnovers by his uh, team. Yeah, I have them far. Five turnovers, it seemed a lot worse. 
Barnstable with off a nice pass from uh, Ignacevic, nails a three. Oh. <laughs> Give up a three. Give it up for a three and nailing it. What do we know? Was Wissy. Barnstable open again, and he has another three ball. He has 11. Barnstable and Ignacevic have 20 of the 23 points. The other three from Jers. Yes. Early on. Oops. Rehagen on the foul. Could be a second, it is. Back in is Berger and Jers for Verhagen and Michael. Again, just one thing that scares me down the line, Lutheran basically just plays seven, seven guys and we're gonna have a timeout by Coach Flipsy. I think one of Barnstable's uh, three, Chris, were, was countered as a two. I have him for three threes, Marty. Yeah, so do I. And, it, and, and he, a deuce. And a deuce. So that gives him 11. Ignacevic has 10 points. Four. Eight. Well, how many? Does he have a couple free throws? Or yeah, what? made two out of three free throws. So if you give Juris a three, that's 24 instead of 23. I agree with you. I agree with you. I I have that, that's what I have. Yeah. I don't know what I'm missing. I guess we'll hear at uh, halftime, maybe they announce the, the yeah, scores and maybe. things like that. Well, Monday we're supposed to go to the center and have a game. Hopefully the yeah, they play Marantha Baptist, and uh, it might be too cold. Too much snow. Is that it? Yeah, we might get six to nine. You being in Arizona, you don't know what, what hey, it's been it, like. Hey, it wasn't that warm out there. It was only in the low 60s. <laughs> this morning, my car caused <laughs> <burned> <laughs> at me, and I'm scared for next Wednesday. I'll tell you, my wife and I were concerned morning. after uh, getting back on the pl plane flight, you know, and walking into the parking structure that her car would start, but turn the key started right up. Yeah. Then life was good. That's a good double. Twenty-three to fourteen, Lutheran on top. Some uh, Lutheran little one-three-one, one, something new. Barnes. Almost stolen away. Dish inside the model. He's fouled prior to the shot. Goes on Braden Grabowski. Five team falls on uh, Lutheran. Shot is up and in by Michael Model. His second three of the night. Yeah, just a freshman. Nasvik with a good kick out. And the three ball is up and in by Juris, his second three of the night. Yeah, pe different guys like different spots. You know, some people like it in the corner, some at the top. He kind of likes it halfway between. I liked it in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> good live hands there by Barnstable. That's a good penetration and drive. A rebound, or the shot was missed, but Wissy with the rebound put it up and in. Kick out pass to Barnstable. Nothing but air on that one. Whoopie doopie. Yeah, that actually missed a travel call on Wissy. Ignacevic with the uh, steal. 
And the shot rolls down for Graydon Grabowski, his first hoop of the night. Yeah, he struggled in the uh, last time we had the Lutheran big score, and I think we're his, uh, was kryptonite or something. Another turnover by the Eagles. Coming back in is uh, Casey Verhagen, Nick's son. 10 turnovers for Christian, taking care of the ball basically the second half of the uh, first half here. That was a pretty good uh, run for Michael Berger. He didn't score any points, but uh, had live hands on defense. Casey Verhagen right off the bench couldn't get that one in. Oh, dragging the foot, no call. That was definitely a travel. Mortal, no good. Ignacevic with another rebound, Chris. He's only got nine. He's going to have a double-double in the first half. Grabowski with a step back, 10-footer is no good. Wissy with the rebound. Carey? No. Yeah. Lemonis from outside the line, no good. Ignacevic got his double-double in the first half, Chris. Little sailor to the uh, rim and he scores. 11 point lead now for uh, the Crusaders, their largest lead of the night. Shot is no good. Ignacevic, oh. Good save by Barnstable, but uh, couldn't get it to Ignacevic. That's a travel. The crew tonight, we had Robert Ingram as our director, Richard Bartson running camera one, Greg Zablocki running camera two, but it's not working. So he's uh, being a wallflower down there. Chris Wright doing the color, and I'm Mike Martin doing your play-by-play. Shot is up and in. That one by Del uh, by Jonah Juris, and he's got three threes, we think. Yep, that's what I got him for. We see shot is no good. Grabowski with the uh, rebound. Agnosevic driving to the hoop, and he's going to get called for an offensive foul. And let's see what Verhagen is going to get him out of there with his two fouls. There's 3.22 left in the first half. Well, Crusaders now up by 14. We kind of said it in the opening. Christian struggling offensively with field goal percentage, and that's the case again tonight. They're getting shots. They're just not going in. You know, there's one thing to have the turnovers, but... Well, that's an issue too, but not shooting the ball very well either. Lutheran trying to push the action. Barnstable dribbled in the lane, got a nice shot, but couldn't get it. Robbie Michael for two. How many, that's, yeah. I think they got up to six seconds and then they decided to blow the whistle. Seemed like a long five, didn't it, Chris? Yeah, just 33% shooting for the Eagles. Boy, I thought they were shooting better than that. And 13 turnovers. Just on that spot, he likes it. Yeah. Christian likes it too that he likes it. He hasn't made too many from over there. A lot of, a lot of live hands. <laughs> that three ball is up and in by Sam Hendricksy. And a steal, another shot made, that one by Wissy. Trevor Wissy. No shot, fall happened before.
Paul is going to go on uh, Matt Alsom. That's his second. Barnstable at the line, shooting the one and one. He missed the free throw earlier in the half. Lutheran, with that free throw make, they're now three for five in the first half. Christian has not attempted a free throw, Chris. Big Johnson Ellis is here tonight. Yep, saw him. Barnstable missed that one, but got his own rebound. Bad job of blocking out that time by the Eagles. Barnstable with a rainbow, couldn't get it. And then it goes off of Robbie Michael. Christian will have it back. 152 remaining. Lutheran up by 12. Oh, good defense that time by Jonah Juris. Alice did not know what to do with the ball there. You gotta yeah. attack that quicker, force Juris to come out, and then that pass will be a lot easier. Wish he shot no good. Barnstable with the rebound. Casey Verhulst with it for Hagen with a good pass inside, but it was tipped away. Lutheran uh, shooting just 38%, Marty, but they have had 11 more shot attempts than the, the Eagles. A good feed inside. Barnstable missed the uh, bunny shot, and then uh, Grabowski drew the foul on the putback. He'll shoot two. about 10 minutes ago, game time 10 minutes ago, I mentioned what a nice job the Eagles are doing on the offensive rebounds Close. against him. <laughs> well now uh, Lutheran's got 10. <laughs> Getting crushed. Yeah. Grabowski now with four points. Oh wow. Alls got bailed out. It wasn't a very good pass. He will be at the line shooting. One and one. <laughs> Levi puts in the first. Barnstable goes right around the defense and lays it up and in. What a nice quick move for Delvin. Lutheran applying a lot of pressure in this ball game. Another steal. Grabowski fouled on the way to the hoop, but I think he'll be shooting a pair. Moto, if that's on Moto, that's his third. Yes, it is. Michael Modal comes out, replacing him. Is Olsen, Matt Olsen. Sixteen point lead now for uh, the Crusaders. Gotta take care of the ball a little bit. Gotta make sure and pay attention. There you go. There you go. No. Nobody in the middle over here. Someone's gotta get over in the middle. Someone's gotta get in the middle. Shot is no good by Wissy. Got his own rebound, put it up and in. 11 points for uh, Trevor. He's got nine rebounds too, Marty. Eighteen seconds left. Oh. 
Rahagan drives it to the hoop and scores. His first hoop of the night. And Verhagen picks up his third. Uh, really? Nope, just second. Second. Okay. Dad not happy about that. Trevor Wissey will be at the line shooting the one and one. Lemonis tried to tip it back. Couldn't get it to go and we're at halftime with uh, Sheboygan Lutheran on top, 43 to 27. With mother's finances, I wish we had discussed this sooner. It's difficult making decisions for mom. With dad gone, a lot has changed. Seeing my parents age, I worry about their financial decisions. As we age, our ability to make good financial choices decreases. Start the conversation today and plan for the future. Financial resources and tools are available at smartaboutmoney.org, a non-commercial organization focused on your financial success. The police called after midnight when they caught our son at a drinking party. It was a real wake-up call. A policeman suggested we try Al-Anon family groups. I didn't want to go to a meeting, but I'm glad I did. Are you troubled by someone else's drinking? You might be surprised at what you could learn in an al family group from people just like you. Call 1-888-4-AL-ANON or go to al .org. Four out of five women with ovarian cancer will experience a recurrence. It's often incurable. Until recently, following chemotherapy, women with recurrent ovarian cancer had to simply watch and wait for their disease to come back. Well, we say, not on my watch. Not on my watch. With maintenance therapies, women can delay recurrence. Awareness of your choices empowers you. Take an informed and active role. Visit notonmywatch.com. Nothing hurts my mom, but she showed anyway. We were trained to help others, but there's strength in finding help for yourself too. We're in this together. Even the toughest of us might not know where to go to get a little support. The VA Women Veterans Call Center connects veterans with personalized information on VA services that can make a difference. Call 1-855-VA-WOMEN or visit www.womenshealth.va.org. We've all seen that moment in movie credits that says no animals were harmed in the making of this film. As a film director, I rely on the eight decades of experience American Humane brings to safeguarding animals on set. They consult on scripts, advise on locations, training, veterinary care, and so much more. As a director, nothing is more important than making sure everyone is safe, and that includes the animals on set as well. And thanks to the passionate people of American Humane, we can. arthritis, it can be a painful reminder of all the things you can't do. Let's get a grip on arthritis. You can help by donating at arthritis.org. When I was your age, I was just like you, fascinated by stars. get to search for life in the universe and who knows maybe life is looking for us too so we're like aliens to them yeah does anyone want to be a scientist now i do awesome we need more girls in stem maybe we can find aliens hey we missed you at the game last week is everything all right hey uh just haven't been feeling like me lately you know i'm here for you right that's a cut Acting is one thing. Talking about suicide in real life is another. In the military, you take challenges head on. And now it's your turn to do the same for our veterans. Be there. Learn how you can start the conversation at BeThereForVeterans.com. I dare you. I dare you to change the world. Yeah, you. Getting that college education. I dare you to be somebody important. Like be a teacher. Or a reality TV star. I dare you to stand up here. To call the shots. To be a role model. An inspiration. An innovator. To be a teacher. 
Think you can change my life? Make me excited about science like you? Have a career that really means something? Then do it. I dare you. to your money, whatever you want to get smart about, you can find at smartaboutmoney.org. Smart About Money is a free online resource. We are a non-commercial, non-profit organization dedicated to helping people just like you get information about money. For everything from how to build an emergency fund to how to deal with job uncertainty, smartaboutmoney.org has the answers you've been looking for. Smartaboutmoney.org, the easy place to start when you want to get smart about your finances. There's a lot of tree branches and dry brush over here. We should probably move the bonfire over there. I'm guessing Smokey liked that idea. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Getting that college education. What are you going to do? Graduate and take some office job? Be like everybody else. Or will you dare do something different? Like be a teacher. You could be my teacher. You got skills. The smarts. Yes, you. You could be the teacher I never forget. That would be cool. Does that corporate job even have recess? What are you going to make of yourself? What are you going to make of me? Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. That's why we're here. We're free and here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. Picking a college, man. You and us we go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Go to GetSchooled.com. Todd's a great guy. I mean, look at him. What a sweetheart. Attaboy. Wait, Todd, what are you doing? How totally selfish and untod like of you. Come on, Todd. Come on, man.
We're back here at uh, Sheboygan County Christian High School where the uh, Lutheran Crusaders lead it by a score of 43 to 27. First half scoring, leading all scores in the ball game is Delvin Barnstable with 13 points. Following him is Jacob Agnosovic with 12. Jacob sat out the last uh, about three and a half minutes of the first half with two fouls. Jonah Juris has nine. Graydon Grabowski, five. Robbie Michael, two. And uh, Casey Verhagen, two. For uh, the Eagles, they were led by Trevor Wissey with 11. Sam Hendricksy with five. Michael Modal with six. Levi Ailes with one. And Joel Lemonis with uh, two along with Matt Olsom. Chris, what do you got for uh, shooting percentages and rebounds and turnovers? Well, the uh, big key we mentioned in the opening for Christians, they're gonna, they haven't shot well all year. Well, that's the case again tonight. They're just 10 of 31 shooting, uh, so under 33%. But the key, like Marty mentioned, the turnovers, 14 turnovers. For the uh, Sheboygan Lutheran, you know, I didn't think they played a great half, but they still put up 43 points and they shot 40 times. That's a lot of shots. Sometimes you have games where a you know, whole, you know, for a whole game you don't get 40 shots. That's, that's quite a nice uh, performance by them. Certainly is. Juris with another three. Yeah, they're uh, now six of 17. Juris has four of those six threes. Marty. Well, oh. in action earlier tonight, the uh, Lutheran Crusader JV team beat uh, Sheboygan Christian. The varsity win, it'd be a sweep. Oh, almost a triple team that time. Lemonis had to get rid of it right away. I thought that this is what Christian might do in the beginning of the game is just see if he can hold the ball a little bit. You don't want to run up and down with a team that's averaging uh, about 85 points a game. Of course, part of this is the good Lutheran defense as he makes the layup. Yeah, Verhagen let Alsom uh, get to the hoop and score. Barnstable outside the line, couldn't get it in. And then uh, knocking it out of bounds was uh, Matt Olsom, keeping it away from uh, Jacob Agnosovic. Barnstable now 5 of 11 from the floor. Grabowski taking it right in the land of the Giants, couldn't get it in. And then uh, Jacob Agnosovic draws the foul. He'll be at the line shooting two. He was uh, three for, pardon me, two for three in the first half. Got a dozen rebounds, Marty. Averaging 15-8. Mentioned before, second in the state in rebounding, third there. Something we didn't mention is Casey Verhagen for Lutheran, Marty. Numero uno in assists. So you have, in the entire state, you have the second leading rebounder, first assist guy, and third in scoring. That's pretty good. Lutheran was six for 10 in the first half on their free throws. Uh, make that now 8 for 12 with those two makes by uh, Agnosovic. Behave yourself, Chris, the head honchos here. Hey, we got screen. What'd you do? <laughs> <laughs> Greg Zablocki coming up since his camera didn't work. Working on the monitor and got it to go. Look out below, Chris. Oh, he lays it up and in. Better be safe than sorry there. The, no sense getting hurt on that. And it's only two points even if you dunk it. Could have been undercut there. Oh, a little reverse layup action that time by Trevor Rissy. Wissy, and he scores. He has 13 points. Yeah, six of 13 from the floor. He's also got nine rebounds. Grabowski kick out to Verhagen. His three ball is in. They're getting hot. Three of five. Yeah, it's a 22 point lead now. Three of five and a half. Shh. 
Lemon is uh, again having trouble catching the ball, Chris. Well, Matt Olson there too. You you weren't stopped, so go right to the basket until you know he passed it when he didn't have to. Hill shot no good. Ball actually is tipped off of uh, Wissy, but they're saying it was knocked away by Luther. Now the referees are going to talk about it. I think this is the right call, right where it was. See? They're going to go the other way. <laughs> so Luther not only making more baskets, they're also getting the breaks. Thirteen footer by Nosvik is no good. Lemoness with a nice strong rebound going up with two hands to pitch that ball out of the air. He's got four. And we're gonna stay here. And I think that's gonna be uh nothing. Nothing. It, uh, Juris tipped the ball but it went out of bounds, so it's off of him. Christian will get it. Mortal trying to find a shot. Church plays really good D. We've mentioned that a number of times. And Barnstable is going to pick up that fall. That'll be, I believe, his first. Mortal at the line. These will be uh, only the second free throw for uh, the Eagles tonight. They were 0 for 1 in the first half. Pardon me, 1 for 3. Free throw gives Modal seven points in ball game. Eagles continuing to play uh, zone defense, Chris. You don't think they could come out of that, do you? Nope. Have a night. Juris. Five threes, 15, I guess that would be. Hey, you're pretty good. We learned one or two things at Whitewater. It wasn't math, it was the basketball part. <laughs> if you went to Whitewater, weren't you supposed to be in uh, in uh, business? No. That's why I became a teacher. <laughs> Hales, three. He has four now. Elvin Barnstable shot is no good. Mortal trying to look for a lane to the basket, but uh, he was covered up pretty nicely by the uh, Crusader defense. Awesome shot is off. Gnosevic with the rebound. Kick out to Juris. No. Three of his last four. Ignacevic gets a loose ball and then he's fouled by Alsom. That's going to be Matt's third and Ignacevic's going to be at the line shooting a pair, Chris. That's the other thing he does really good. He gets to the line a lot. Again, uh, things aren't bad enough for Christian now. Fouls are starting to mount a little bit. Sam Hendricksy in for uh, Alsom. I got him six out of seven free throws on the night. Nosvik with an easy steal. And good hustle on the defense by Hendricksy to come back and steal that ball right back. Berger going for the steal, but it goes out of bounds. A 
Lutheran up 58-35. Leminis' shot is blocked by Ignacevic. Nice take. Drive to the hoop and a score by Barnstable. Really improved this year, Marty. Good job by uh, the Eagles to break the press. And a three ball is up and in by Michael Modal. He has three threes and, set and not 10 points on the night. And a foul called on Trevor Wissey. His second. Ignacevic begging for the ball. Not what looked like a good save by Michael Berger was not. It touched the line. The ball did. And went out of bounds. Ninth turnover on Luther. And they started off with a bunch of turnovers, but they really cleaned it up since then. Big Kubo. game Monday, Marty. Oosberg, the makeup from Tuesday night. Oosberg is uh, one loss, plays Lutheran at Oosberg. So that'll be a big game. Good strong rebound. Put back is no good. And uh, try it again. Michael Modal and put it in. Almost a steal. Barnstable's runner is no good on the baseline. Whistle on the floor. Ball's gonna be on Juris, that's his first. 60 to 40, 11 20. Wissy's shot is no good, a great save that time. And a layup is up and in by Grabowski. The save was by Juris. Ball tipped away. Robbie Michael with a great save. Grabowski's shot is no good. Juris? Too close. <laughs> he only likes him out by a three, three point line. And we get a timeout by the Eagles with 10.30 left at 62 to 40. It's a 30 second timeout, so we'll keep it here. Well, you mentioned the big game. Uh, Lutheran goes out to uh, Oostburg on yep. Monday. Yep, we'll be at, up. Yeah, we'll be at UW Sheboygan provided the weather holds. Uh, they play Marantha Baptist. And then uh, on Friday of next week, we have De Pere at South. Could be an interesting ball game. Well, we have Lutheran is undefeated, and then you have Howard's Grove with a loss and Oostburg both with a loss. So if Oostburg would beat Lutheran, there'd be a three-way tie, which would be kind of interesting how it plays out. Uh, how do you figure out the brackets in for the well, conference and, tournament? Well, Oostburg and Howard's has to play yet, so that's... Somebody's going to lose that game. Well, no, that's not true. Uh, Howard's beat Oostburg, so it would be a three-way tie. Yeah. Uh, then we have Random Lake. Or excuse me, Kohler at eight and two, Hilbert and Mantua Lutheran at seven and four. It's a scrum. Brett Flipsy grabbing the referee's arm said, listen, this is what happened on the sideline, call it. <laughs> Kowalski staying down, good defense, good defense. Oh, good hustle by Joe Lemines, and he gets rewarded by putting the shot up and in. It's only his second basket of the night, Chris. 
And he was leading the team in scoring. Oh, I, oof, I don't have a one bat. No one basket. Okay. I don't know. I must have missed one earlier. Yeah, he had one in the first half. Okay. Juris. Wow. Another three. Six threes. What is that? How many points? <laughs> 18. Good hustle. That'll, you know, keep you in the games. Just a freshman, Robbie Michael, but hustling plays like that will earn you minutes. Shot is blocked by Grabowski. For Hagen. Over to Michael is no good. Grabowski inside rebound. His putback is also no good. And Michael Berger is going to pick up the foul. Right, I think they gave that one to uh, Robbie Michael. Shot inside is no good, but then it's tipped out of bounds by Sam Hendricksy. 9.06 left in the ball game. Lutheran up by 23. Not been a good shooting performance tonight by either squad, Chris. No. Berger inside to Grabowski, That's he puts it in. Well done. And not a good fall that time by Michael Berger. Nasovic checking back in. This time Michael Berger comes out. Whoa. Close, but no cigar on that over and back. Lutheran continuing to hustle on the defense. Another block, that one by uh, Jacob Ignacevic, and then Grabowski gets fouled. It's undercut, thank goodness he's not hurt. Grabowski with eight rebounds too. A lot of rebounds tonight because of all the uh, poor this is <laughs> yep. Lutheran shooting 42%. Oh boy, Verhagen had Ignacevic on the pick and roll and then just threw it to the defense. Michael picks up his third foul. Steal for Hagen, going hard to the hoop. Up off the glass and in. He has seven. Lutheran has 69. Again, tipped away, but Christian able to come back with it and laying it up and in was Michael Modell. Yeah, up to 33% shooting and his Nosvig scores for uh, Lutheran, I was going to say 32% shooting for Christian. Foul is on Lemonis, his uh, third. I was just counting up the points for Michael Modell. He's got 14 points, Chris. Eight of those coming in this half. Nosovic, uh, boy, he's got a great looking stroke. That free throw in to finish off the three point play. It's now 72 to 44. How many points does Ignacevic have, Marty? A bunch. Well, he needs 31 14, to get to his average. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So he's still 10 points behind, and there is the 21st turnover. And he's turned it over 21 times. Oh, they didn't. Ooh, my bad. 
I think, times. Yeah, I think Barnstable may have tipped, tipped. it. Yeah. He was so 20 turnovers. That's, that's 20 opportunities you don't have to score. That was a nice play. Hills. Agnosevic with a three. His first three of the ball game, Chris, yep. usually gets more than one a game. Well, Barnstable didn't tip that one. That was just airmailed into the second row. Again, let me reiterate, it's safe to be up here. And now it's uh, almost a 30 point lead, Marty. Well, for uh, running clock in basketball, it's got to be 40 points. No, 35, I think. No, 40. Is it? Yeah. That's what I thought, too. I thought it was 35 the other day. When it's football. Well, I thought it was 35 the other day when we were not. Maybe you're right. You're probably right. I know I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I tell my wife all the time. She says, no, you're not. <laughs> got a wet floor, so they're taking a break. You're up by 30 points, Marty. Um, 32? Yeah. About the four minute mark, you empty your bench, I hope. <laughs> yeah. Give these guys about another minute and a half. Won't get anybody hurt. Twenty left. There's another nice steal. Steal by Juris. Side for Hig, uh, to Ignacevic for another two. Oh, 26 yeah. now. Yep, closer to his average. <laughs> Jacob could smell that steal. Lemonis, and we get a whistle timeout. Full timeout by uh, the Eagles. Robert, take us to a 30 second break, please. Really? Buzz, what's up, man? You left some leaves burning out here. Yeah, I, I just, I, there was a, I had just came in just for a second. Come on, man. If it's too hot to touch, it's too hot to leave. You could torch the whole neighborhood. It's a good point there, Smokey. Nine out of ten wildfires are caused by humans. Only you can prevent wildfires. Back at uh, Sheboygan County Christian High School, there you see Brett Flipsy talking to the troops. So. Been a long season for uh, Brett and his crew. Came into tonight's game two and eleven. They're gonna be two and twelve after the ball game. He's talking about the fact the conference is gonna change a little bit next year. You play everybody. Yeah, they talked about splitting it into two divisions. Yep, play everybody once and everybody in the southern division or northern division you'll play one or uh, twice so in your division you play twice whatever that division would happen to be yep for Hagen trying to get it inside to uh, Ignacevic but threw it away well we could hear that up here for Hagen, what a good pass to Barnstable and he scores and he's fouled Casey with a good look inside. Officials missed one and 30 point game and good time to get the boys out of the game. Max Leonard in. Just like daddy, long and lean. Hernstable's free throw, however, is not good. He couldn't finish off the three point play. Five minutes left, uh, 5.15 left in the game. Modal missed the first one, but got the rebound, put that one up and in. Yeah, he's got 11 rebounds, too. 
Double double for that young man. Verhagen drives to the hoop, couldn't get it. Ignacevic's put back. He's fouled on the shot attempt. The natives are restless, Marty. Yeah, no kidding. Can't hardly blame them either. Well, it was a missed call, and you're going to have them. That's the fourth foul on Joel Lemon Lemonis. Thirty point lead, Marty. Yeah. Four Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Four starters on the floor. You do better counting by threes. Well, I'm just saying thirty. <laughs> Rounding it out. Trevor Wissy uh, has to have some blood on his jersey or something, Chris. Oh, jeez. They don't know. It better be a lot. Sam Hendricks, he's going to take his spot out on the floor. Points now for uh, Jacob Ignacevic. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine out of ten free throws. Lemonis inside the moto for two more. He's having a nice night. Juris on an inside feed to Ignacevic. He scores and he's fouled. Oh, man. Great teamwork on that play. Juris giving it up. <laughs> Lemonis fouls out. That was his fifth. Uh. Wissy back in. I think that's his average right there, Chris. 31. And he's out with 431 left. Grabowski in. <laughs> Another starter. Ball tipped away. Another turnover. That's got to be 21. Oh, it's way more than that now. For Hagen, couldn't get the three to go. And we're going to get an over the back call on Graydon Grabowski. Berger coming back in, and for the first town, time, J.T. Schultz, number 13 in the ball game. Juris and Barnstable check out. Verhagen and Grabowski to the starters, still in the ball game, Chris. I know that bothers you. Want to get those guys out of there. Brett Flipsy only has nine players in uniform tonight. That's uh, been pretty much the case this year. Wissy. Wow. Rims out. Grabowski with the uh, rebound. His ninth. Catch and shoot, and a score. That one by Max Leonard. Three fifteen left. Line drive three is good by Ailes. He has nine. Berger oh, couldn't get it. Grabowski with the rebound. Shot in the lane is up and in. We get a whistle. 
timeout. Coming in is uh, Malachi Staple, number five for uh, the Crusaders. Zach Verheist, looks like he's gonna check in. And uh, Matthew Witte, number three, I think is checked in. There's 251 left, it's uh, gotten out of hand, eh, Chris? 36 points? Yep. Well, he knew this was gonna be kind of this way. Just a little too poor shooting for Christian. And again, we've mentioned before, very, very young squad. You know, look at the night though, Michael Modal, the freshman had, and Matt Alsom. So those younger guys bowed pretty well. I thought it was a little too much Ignacevic, <laughs> Juris, and Barnstable. Yeah. 31, 19, and 18. What Grabowski end up with? Uh, 13? Wait, 11. Yeah, so four and double figures. For Hagen's got to be close as well. He only has seven. Okay. He's been a distributor more tonight yeah. than a scorer. Oh, nice back screen and laying it up and in was Sam Hendricksy, and he has seven points. It's like he'd be running in practice that way. Exactly. Inside feed to Verheist. His shot is uh, no good. A lot of hustle. Oh, tackle on the three yard line. We'll call it a jump ball. Oh, pardon me, that's a tie up. We don't call it a jump ball anymore. I'm reffing some games tomorrow, Marty, with Todd Decker. All righty. Yeah. John uh, has got a funeral to go to, so asked me to sub in, in for him. and. So it'll be good to see Coach Decker, former yeah. Lutheran coach, state champion. He was a really good coach, Marty. Yes, he was. He really knew how to coach defense and presses. And a couple boys of his, too, that could shoot a little. Hey, you know how I talk about me liking to shoot? I didn't even come close to how he liked to shoot. <laughs> the difference was he was a maker. Three ball is up and in by Matthew Witte. All right. Another country heard from. <laughs> I was waiting for that, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good for Matthew. Under a minute. It's been a Lutheran week this week at school, so sometimes you always talk about distractions, but they had a day off of school if it was one, and then I think they have their formal tonight, tomorrow, Marty. I was going to say the day off was more of a distraction than anything. <laughs> Michael Modal on the line. You and I are going to go down and interview a couple. Hey, thanks for inviting me. Players. That sure. was really nice of you. Sure. Hey, this is an important point for uh, Michael. Could have 20 in the ball game. With 14 coming in the second half. If he could get it, but he oh, couldn't. Oh, thanks, Marty. Oh, I'm sorry, Michael. Oh, nice feed inside. And putting it up and in is Malachi Staple. They did count that, right? <laughs> Josiah Stecker, number 11 in the ball game for uh, Trevor Wissey. Wissey finished up with 13 points.
Good hustle there. Yeah. Standing three is no good. Put back by Hendricksy is no good and it goes off of his hands. With 20 seconds left exactly. Lutheran will get it back. I'll go talk to Coach Verhagen. Sounds good, I'll meet you down there. Feet inside, Verheis shot is off, no good. Under 10 seconds left. Hendricksy shot at the buzzer is no good. And that's the end of it. Lutheran a winner, 96 to 58. plan today. In 70 degree weather, it takes only minutes for the inside of your car to heat up like an oven. At 104 degrees, heat stroke begins, followed by loss of consciousness. Every year, almost 40 children die of heat stroke after being forgotten in a vehicle. A simple change in daily routine is often the cause. Look Before You Lock, brought to you by Kids in Cars. Today I'm going to talk to you about physics. Come on in girls. Let's go. This is the first rocket to get humans to Mars. Really tall. I'm a rocket structural engineer designing and building parts of the rocket. You are the generation that will be stepping foot on Mars. Do I have a group of astronauts on my hands? Yes. You can become a rocket scientist or whatever else you want to be. Testing mic six, mic. Today I'm going to talk to you about physics. Come on in, girls. Let's go. This is the first rocket to get humans to Mars. Really tall. I'm a rocket structural engineer designing and building parts of the rocket. You are the generation that will be stepping foot on Mars. Do I have a group of astronauts on my hands? You can become a rocket scientist or whatever else you want to be. today. Good. I'm here to talk about how with technology you can make amazing worlds. Come with me. My team and I groomed the Halo world to life. Is that you? That is me. I wasn't a math genius and I knew nothing about coding. But you guys do. You guys have the power to change things. I want your job. I want you to have my job. Most party fouls are pretty dumb. But if you decide to drink and drive underage, you could lose your license and your freedom. Underage drinking and driving. The ultimate party foul. Back at Christian High School with a couple players from the winning Lutheran squad. First, Jonah Juris. Jonah, you had the three ball working tonight. What was up? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't happen every game. It's, it's uh, I guess it's fun when it happens. I don't score all that much. The last two games have been uh, different for me. I get great passes from our point guard, Casey, and uh, it's just fun out there. 
Now, when you came into tonight's game uh, during practice, what did the uh, coach tell you? What was your main goal in tonight's ball game, other than, of course, winning it? Yeah, we don't look over any, any team. Uh, we got to practice hard every time. We, uh, we worked on that uh, pressure for the full court. Uh, we tried to pressure the ball handlers, speed them up, and we knew it was going to be uh, a good game. All right, Chris. Graydon, uh, I noticed they played some zone against you guys, and I think something probably to slow you down. Uh, did you anticipate that? You've been working against the zone, or, or uh, I mean, it's probably some teams are going to be playing zone against you because you got bigger guys in the middle, and then, of course, that opens up to three. Yeah, we've always been working on zone. Every team does it against us. It just kind of slows us down because we crush them in man. I thought uh, you guys did an outstanding job on rebound. My gosh, you almost had three guys that had over 10 rebounds tonight, and, you know, it's, I know it's a team effort when you hit the boards and things. Yeah, it's great. Jacob and I, we get the boards, and, yeah. It's been a pretty special season for you. You got a big game coming up against Oostburg coming up next week. Were you, you got, been working on that a little bit, or, you know, how's, are, we, are you ready for them, too, I guess, is the next test on, on, the, on the docket? Yeah, we were really excited for them. We practiced for them a lot. We were all really excited, and we got to wait until February 4th now, I think. That's oh, a Monday. Okay. So, yeah. I thought it was Monday, so okay, you got a week off, which is which is probably not the big thing. I'll ask you one more question, and I'll, I'll like now you played in these Lutheran Christian games a few years. What have they uh, meant to you? You know, playing kind of I guess you could call it a rivalry game a little bit. Yeah, my sophomore year we lost to them 74 to 40, and then we lost three times in a row to them, and they bounced us out of regionals too. So coming here, it's a big rivalry, sort of. They're not that yeah. tough this year. It's a lot easier, but yeah. Well, congratulations. We'll let Marty finish up with Jonah. Jonah, when we were watching the ball game and you were making your threes, we noticed you had a particular spot on the floor you like to shoot from. Do you ever practice from any other spot? Oh, every <laughs> once in a while. That's my spot in practice, though. I mean, I like that left side. That's usually where I stay. I don't you know. know. You know, I did give that your spot away, Jonah. I hope <laughs> there's nobody on the tape. I said, some kids like to shoot them in the corners. Some like them on the top. I said, you like it kind of in between oh, there. Yeah. Yep. And I told Chris, I like it in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for stopping out. Uh, great game tonight. Good luck with the rest of your season. Hopefully you can go undefeated and be yeah. the state champs. All right, thanks. All right, with that, again, <laughs> Lutheran a winner, 96-58. to 58. For the crew and my partner Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Good job. Stopping out. You can put a smile on that face. <laughs>